What's going on Guardians, TBL here, and IGN is continuing their first look series at Destiny 2, and today, they decided to show off a brand new PvP mode titled Survival, as well as a brand new PvP map in the Altar of Flame. So in this video, we're going to go ahead and dive on into some of the things we learned from today's IGN first episode. Now, this video is of course between IGN's own Destin Legary and Crucible design lead Lars Bakken. And it is all about the all new PvP game mode Survival. Now we got two videos today, one talking about Survival, explaining what the game mode is, and then the other was a seven minute long video of just pure Survival gameplay. There will be links to both of those down in the description box below. Now what is the Survival mode? Well it's a brand new competitive mode, it's going to be available in that competitive playlist alongside Countdown, and it's described as being somewhat of a spiritual successor to Skirmish, where it's a team battle where the team shares a a set pool of eight lives. And with the new team size of four, it basically means it's going to allow for everyone on your team to die at least twice before you run out and lose a round. And from the gameplay we got to see, it looks like it's going to be a fairly intense game mode. Dying is going to cause you to automatically respawn, but once your team runs out of those eight lives, the round is over. The team that survives longest and wins the round gets one point, and the first team to three points wins. So overall, a very simple scoring system and a very interesting looking game mode. This mode, just like Countdown, is going to be very heavily team oriented, so you're going to need to communicate with your fire team to make sure nobody's peeking unnecessarily and getting picked off. When your team has a shared pool of lives, everyone has to take a bit of that responsibility. Now, there's also going to be some very interesting quirks to this game mode. For instance, there's only going to be one centralized power ammo spawn. That's right, only one. It's going to be in the middle of the map where there's going to be some slight areas for cover, but ultimately, Lars mentioned that they wanted power ammo to be something both of the teams come together and fight over in a centralized zone. So they put it right smack dab in the middle of the map to ensure that teams would go to war to pick it up. And that was certainly on display in the seven minute video of the survival game mode that we got from IGN as well. We got to see that when the power ammo was coming up, both of the teams basically converged on it. They were dropping shields and abilities and grenades all over the place. It definitely started quite the gunfight. And I feel like that's overall a smart design choice. We all know how powerful power weapons can be in the PvP environment. Everybody who's played the beta knows what kind of a difference grabbing a fusion rifle can make. So having just one power ammo spawn location in the mid zone and equal distance away from the initial spawn locations for both teams, that's going to create some really interesting situations. And speaking of spawns, Lars also made the mention that spawns will be rotating in between rounds. So yes, spawn swapping is finally going to be a thing in this competitive game mode. That's something I was overall very happy to hear because, of course, one of the biggest complaints about Trials of Osiris is that the spawn locations don't swap in between rounds. And hopefully this is a sign that in whatever the Trials of Osiris equivalent is going to be in Destiny 2, spawn swapping is going to be a thing in between rounds in that game mode as well. Lars mentioned that they want to make the game feel as fair as possible, so they don't want to give any sort of advantageous spawn to any team, and that's why they're going to have the two teams swap back and forth in between rounds, and I think that is a fantastic choice. And overall, the survival game mode looks like it's going to be a fairly intense competitive game mode. Again, it's a bit of a spiritual successor to the skirmish game mode. With the limited shared pool of lives, the instant respawns, you're really going to have to communicate with your team and not put yourself out into danger unnecessarily. It's probably going to wind up being a very fun game mode to watch. And it certainly looks like it's going to lead to some very interesting, very intense matches. Now we also got to see a brand new PvP map over the course of this video in the Altar of Flame. This is taking place on Mercury and looks very similar to uh, the overall environment that's available on the Burning Shrine or say at the Lighthouse once you've gotten a full set of wins in the Trials of Osiris. And I've got to say, the Altar of Flame looks pretty cool. It's going to be a mid-sized map with lots of flanking routes, sniper lanes, and a very large mid-zone for power ammo skirmishes. And I'm really digging the way it looks. I was always a really big fan of the Mercury environment, and I kind of wish we got either more PvP maps from there in Destiny 1, or at least maybe a patrol space there for Destiny 1. Because it's just a, it's a cool looking zone. Mercury, of course, has basically been taken over by the Vex. It's where Osiris calls his home. And if you'll remember, it's where we had that awesome Sunbreaker mission from the Taken King. 
But anyway, so the map looks very expansive. It looks like it's going to have a lot of different flank routes for you to try to take advantage of, maybe by luring people into the middle of the map and trying to flank around behind enemy teams or for you to just post up on a few of the sniper lanes trying to pick off careless guardians. Either way, the Altar of Flame definitely looks like it's going to be an interesting place, and it was definitely built from the ground up for the survival mode. Now, additionally in the gameplay footage, we did get a quick look at a few new weapons, namely the Uriel AR-3 Energy Auto Rifle, the Cannabis PR-2 and Naaman C Pulse Rifle, and the Galliard 42 Suros Auto Rifle. Nothing really too in-depth there, we just got to see a couple of the brand new weapons. And of course, we got a little bit of gameplay from them as well. But alright Guardians, that's pretty much it for everything new that was covered in today's IGN First series of videos. Again, the survival mode looks really, really cool. I'm digging the shared pool of lives, and the Altar of Flame definitely looks like it's going to be a fun PvP map. The game mode is going to be launching when Destiny 2 comes out on September 6th as part of the competitive playlist. So, get your fire teams ready for some PvP. But alright, that's it for this one, Guardians. Be sure to let us know what you guys think of the new survival mode down in the comment section below. That's it for this one, guys. Thanks so much for watching. And as always, aim the Black Link. You Guardians, stay frosty.